The Houthi rebels who plucked Sadiq from his home promised that he would be running supplies, not fighting. But it wasn't long before the 13-year-old found himself on the front lines of Yemen's civil war. A Houthi official told the Associated Press that as many as 18,000 children have served as fighters, prison guards, and frontline couriers since the Shiite rebels seized northern Yemen in 2014. Hundreds are believed to have been killed. The main parties on both sides of the conflict have violated international human rights conventions by using child soldiers. But the Houthi rebels are believed to have recruited many more than groups backed by the Saudi-led coalition. Some children join willingly, for money, revenge, or just the thrill of firing a machine gun. But many of these child soldiers are unwilling conscripts. Yeah. Houthi officials, whose troops control territory containing 70% of Yemen's population, refuse to discuss the issue of child soldiers. But they consider the war an act of national defense against what they call Saudi aggression. Boys like 12-year-old Khalan are too young to grasp such concepts. <laughs> Naguib al-Sadi says the Houthis are planting the seeds for perpetual war, breeding a generation that rejects the other. In hopes of breaking that cycle, al-Sadi founded this rehabilitation center for child soldiers in coalition-controlled territory. The boys play games and draw in an attempt to give them back some of their lost childhood. The children are hyper-aggressive and have to relearn the difference between right and wrong. When the smoke from the coalition airstrike cleared, Sadiq says the ground was littered with the broken bodies of his former playmates. <laughs> Sadiq watched as the remains were placed into sacks and carried away. Alan Breed, Associated Press.